Hey y'all, today we're gonna open up Photoshop Elements and that's just about all we're gonna do, but stick around, hopefully we'll learn something. Hey everybody, a few days ago I realized I haven't formally introduced myself. My name is Roy McLeod, I live in Central Florida, and I just somewhat recently, a couple years ago, retired from Walt Disney Entertainment, spending the bulk of that time in the theme parks and creative entertainment. I worked there 26 years, I retire, I love Photoshop, so here we are today. I'm going to do a series of videos on how I use Photoshop elements starting from scratch. This will not be a series that's one after the other. It's going to be in, interspersed with other videos that I do. Um, however, we'll probably end up with five or six in this series, uh, and we're going to break it down into the basics. When we're finished, we will have created hopefully a pretty cool design that I'll share with y'all, and um, you're going to be part of creating that design. Uh, if you'll go over and join the Facebook group, I'm going to do occasional posts to ask questions and get your input on colors, names, styles, and other elements that we will need as we're creating this design. This first episode in this series is going to be about templates and it's going to be going over the layers that I use whenever I open up my Tumblr file. I have several different layers. We're going to go over what each one of those layers is, what I use the layers for, and then the most important layer, the size of the Tumblr. I'm going to share that template with you in the descriptions. However, I can tell you right now, you're probably going to want to make your own, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's open up Photoshop Elements. We're going to start by going over all of the layers. And if you're unaware of what a layer is, think of it as sheets of acetate stacked on top of each other. So let's say you have a large image on this sheet and a smaller one on this one. You put that smaller sheet on top, that smaller object on top, you'll be able to see through. That smaller object on the bottom, you're not going to be able to see through. So it literally is just like sheets of acetate. That's what layers are. So let's go over each of the layers that I have here. So this first layer is just my text box that tells me what I'm working on within uh, this um, within this file. Oh, and by the way, I always have a white background layer at the bottom. It just gives me an opportunity to, to visually see what I'm doing a little bit better. So I do have to turn that off before I do a print though. Anyway, the second layer, um, this layer is my styrofoam layer and we'll use that down the road. Uh, in another uh, tutorial on how to make something look like it's on a styrofoam cup. And then if you see Ali here, that is Alibaba. I'll get more into that in a second. And then we have a, a paint effect it, at some point in time um, we'll probably go over. Um, I have a really cool rust effect here. Um, an aluminum can top, a rusted tin side, and then I have three templates for different size tumblers. And that's what we're going to make today because this one that I've got um, in gray uh, is the Master Alley um, outline. And that's the one that I use now. Um, Alibaba is the company that I get most of my tumblers from. However, um, I originally started getting tumblers when I first started doing this from Amazon and the file size was a little bit bigger. You can see how the tops and the bottoms as I turn it on and off. Um, change. I believe on this one, yeah, it was wider. Anyway, and then the third one is RTS um, sub blanks. And if you're looking to get tumblers in the United States, go to rtssublimationblanks.com. They really are fantastic. They've got good prices and their shipping is super fast. Anyway, um, so I always use this because that's um, the, the size tumblers I'm using. And then I have um, this layer is actually one half of the size of, um, of my tumbler. And I can use that uh, to center and also to offset uh, a set of images, um, but keep them centered with each other. And that probably doesn't make sense now, but we'll use that later and I'll show you what I mean. And then I have my, um, my, QR code for the website that is always there. Don't always use it, but I've got it there just in case. So those are the um, uh, the different layers that I start with. And I won't use all of them, but I'll certainly use one or two of them. Of course, I always use this ma um, this, this master template to, to get the size of the tumbler that I want. So let's uh, 
Let me start by explaining why having a template for the size of your tumbler is really important. So what I've done is I've uh, imported a, uh, this is a file that I made a while back. I'm gonna make a copy of it and I'm gonna put it in our, our master layer. Now, let me hide my template and let's assume for a moment that I had just finished this and that it was this size. Okay, I'd stretched it out a little bit, and this is the final image. I am ready to make a tumbler out of it, but I want to make sure it's the right size. So, by using my master, as long as it's below that master, I can now go over to the magic wand tool, and with my master highlighted, I can click anywhere, and it will, those little marching ants will appear, and that section, all that black has been selected. Now what I can do is click on the layer and I can go up here and hit delete. And it deletes everything behind that black. Let me, um, let me undo that to show you. Um, everything's selected. Now I'm going to hide that layer. I want to select the design that I want to make the right size. And then I'll hit delete and it deletes that area of the master template, giving me the exact size I need for my tumbler. So I can deselect and get rid of those little marching ants. I can hide my white layer and that is ready to print. So let's get rid of this and let's create our own template. I'm going to show you what I believe to be the easiest way to make a, um, a master tumbler size template. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna create a new rectangle and that rectangle should be the size or really close to the size that you believe your tumbler is. So you wanna measure this, the tumbler itself. In my case, it's 9.25 wide by about 8.125 tall. So what I can do is go in here and if you'll see, I've got uh, the width and height right there. So I can go over and go 925, so I can get it really close to that. And then I go down to 8.125, and I'm gonna get it really close to that. I can fix this in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do that for now. Now, down here, I can hit simplify and then do whatever I want to that layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and for now I'm gonna put it in the center. It'll snap to, um, snap to the center. If your Photoshop elements doesn't automatically snap, I believe you um, enable that feature in the preferences. Uh, so this is what we believe to be the size of um, the tumbler. Now, because I can be a cheapskate and I don't want to waste all that red, I want to print this out and, and cut it out and put it on the, the tumbler just to make sure. Um, but I don't want to print out all this red. So what I'll do is I'll go and I'll click the rectangular marquee tool and then just inside that red, I will um, select that and then I'll go up to edit and delete and I'll delete all that interior. I'm doing that literally only because I don't want to, um, to have to print all that out. And then I want to deselect that. So I will save that and print it out. Now, let's assume I've printed it out. Remember, I'm looking at the outside edges for this. Let's assume I've printed it out and it's just a hair too narrow, uh, too, not wide enough. So what I can do is I can go in here and I can adjust this just a hair. And then once I've adjusted it, I can print it out again on a regular printer, cut it out, wrap it around the tumbler and see if it's the right size. And, um, and once I, I think on one of these, I had to print four or five out to get it exactly where I wanted it. I like mine about an eighth of an inch wider um, than what it needs to be. And I like it the exact height. And so anyway, you're gonna have to play around with that. But let's assume that this is the exact size. This outside edge is the size. So in order to create your master template, you can just go into layer and select a new layer. Okay, you can name it. I usually name it later. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick solid black, zero, 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 zero. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take my um, uh, paint bucket tool 
and I'm going to click anywhere in that room. Notice I have this um, new layer is selected. I click anywhere and that new layer becomes black. Then what I'll do is I'll take my shape layer and put it on top of that. Now remember we had centered it. I'll center it again just to make sure it's right. It looks like that's centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick the magic wand tool. I'm going to click, remember I've got the, the my red shape uh, size selected. I'm going to click one time. It'll highlight all that. And then I'm going to select the black layer and I'm going to hit delete. I could hide this or not hide it. I, I typically don't hide it. I think I will hide it to show you. And then what I will do is click delete. And then I deselect the little marching ants. And now what I want to do is get rid of the black on the inside. So I just go in that little white area and I go just, I'm just trying to get rid of that inside black and I hit delete. That is my template master. So anything that I put um, behind that, I can use that to cut out my final image. So that about does it for this video. In the next video of this series, we're going to create a top, a bottom, and a side, which will serve as our seam. So I look forward to it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I think I got a good idea. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more of this series, as well as other videos on sublimation. Thanks so much. Have a great day. A lot of the way that I do it that I already have, um, that I'm already, that with other videos I'm already working on. And